Good morning, YouTube. Just doing the school run. There's the monsters up the back. Here we go. Before I start getting home and chopping some wood up. Say hello. hello. <laughs> you look impressed, Isabella. Arabella's happy. It's going on YouTube. So I'll see you soon. I can't believe my kids are eager to get to school. It's the first time we've ever been early and we're sitting outside waiting. <laughs> well, that's the kids in. God, it's freezing out there. Okay, made it home. Can't wait, the sun's coming out a bit. Look, even though it's freezing, gonna get down to the workshop. I've got a load of old roof rafters that um, someone was doing a loft conversion around the corner. So they give me all the old wood. I've de-nailed it, but it's been out, and it might have got a bit wet. Gonna get started see what we can come up with today probably won't be finished anything because it's going to take ages and splinters to trim down all the wood so and my workshop's still a mess so here we go okay so here's what i'm doing i'm taking a length of that i'm bringing it in here chopping it down across the radio arm so we've got lengths like that i then take one of these and I'll run it through the table saw and then I can clean up two sides in one hit one side two sides and get them quite square and then I'll trim them down again glue them together right you can see them ones glued the back one and there's two panels there so you don't really want to watch me sawing it all but that's what I'm doing Okay, cheers. Okay, so I've cut them all down like this. And now it's about to glue up. I'm gonna glue them up in two separate sections, about this size, um, and then ones will be together. And then when they're done, I'll glue them both together so I can have a nice big panel like that. So, it's time for glue up. And here we have both lots clamped up and glued up and then when they're dry I'll clamp them both together okay I've uh, took the clamps off the big panel uh, here it is and started sanding it smooth it didn't come out too bad so I've just got to finish that off and then sand the other side and then that one's all ready to be machined up, ready to go. Okay, once it's all sanded, what I'll do is, because it's late at night now, I'll just give it a, a quick go of stain. Um, just, you know. So it has a chance to dry tomorrow. It's all going to be done, like touched up as well, once it's all made and cut to size of everything. But uh, I thought we might as well get started on some of it. I've stained the other bits up, just on the faces that show at the moment. So, still waiting for me to glue it dry. So that's it for tonight. And I'll crack on tomorrow. But getting there. Okay, got the mortar out. Um, measured up a load of wood. This is my test piece. I'm cutting the mortises out. And what I'm doing is I'm putting it up against this, doing it to the length, and then I'll put this bit of trim in there and do it again. And that does the front and the back. So it opens up it was up this so it cuts it in and then moves it over and cuts it again done a couple here's two already assembled that's what they look like on the tenons 
they fit in and they're absolutely lovely and square so I can't grumble there it's when I come to do these ones as you can see I've marked these out on the long posts um, so I've got these and then these ones down here so hopefully I don't mess up on the lengths too much here's a couple of the ones short and other short ones I made a mess up there tried to cheat so I've had to glue a little chin in there so that's nearly dry so I can trim that back off afterwards these are right you can see they're offset and that gives me a bit of room for when I put these cross members in I don't know how I'm going to fit them yet but I'll come to that bit okay got a piece of wood up the other end up there balancing so I'll just level and flush I'll do this one first without the shim all right here we go turn it over and go through from the other side now what I might do is while I've got this set up is um, do the other one to this stage and then flip it round and do the others do the other sides because it's obviously got to go up the other end okay all right that'll do for now I'll see you when I've done all them Okay, I've done one side, so I've flipped it over, and hopefully it'll all line up. So here we go. okay what I'm doing now is I've dry assembled it as you saw I'm taking it apart again now I've marked it with a dado's gun so I'm milling this slot up in one hit so I run it along the dado flip it over and do it so that it centralizes the slot so we've got that then we've got that and then I can put the panels in like this and they slot in so you can see it like that right i got a bit um carried away and uh, forgot to film it but i've got these two sides put in i cut the panels down rabbited them out i think i showed you the rabbit in and i've just glued these up and stuck them in clamps so that's the two sides for the bottom half done. Okay, um, been a bit busy uh, since you last saw it. Um, I'll show you what's going on. Daddy, not doing it. They're not doing it. They're not doing it on the field. Uh, why aren't they doing? They're not why they Why? Because there's no one on the field. And uh, well, they must be doing field. it tomorrow then. What? They must be doing it tomorrow. Oh yeah, okay, been a bit busy um, since we last looked. I'll show you what's going on.
Okay, again, got a bit carried away. I've got them four across posts in because I'd already glued the sides up. Yeah, and I thought there's no reason why not. They've been sanded. Um, they've got to be done again once it's all finished, but obviously that's finished. Um, and the panel fits in lovely. Right, the top. So then it's all ready for the side bit to go on the other side after these two front posts are glued uh, dry because these back ones are set and I just slipped the panel in. So as soon as them ones are dry maybe after the school run I can slip that panel in up the, over there. Well that is now the front panel and the back panel in. I quite like the light wood against the dark wood. So I'm contemplating whether to to stain up the panels and leave the light wood light. Obviously I'll go more sort of yellowy piney colour when the varnish is on it. Let's see what the missus says and then I'll make my mind up. <laughs> okay, I think as you saw it, um, I'd assembled it all at the base and glued it all together it's, it's just come out of clamps and what I've done is I've started to I've got the router out and I've started to uh, radius the edges off I don't know if you can see this where are we there around all the way around the edges I'm going uh, I've done all the bottom all these sides here going down all around the legs and the bottom of the legs all round, all round, all round the inside and all round these. A few repairs where rotten softwood um, splinters, chips away and all the things like that so you can't always get a good joint and things like that on, on this wood so having to patch up but I've got the panels in, I can't really see that much so they're looking all right. We've got the back panel in. Oh, where are we? Sorry about the camera, it's my phone. Here, and all the way along. Um, there's the dado for the back piece. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'll show you. Right, see how this wood goes in? This isn't the piece, but going on with this camera. Right, that's the idea. So, so this will be for the shoes, then we'll have the coats against this part, and then small school bags and things like that up there. So hopefully that will stop the missus from moaning. We'll be able to find our shoes, and the kids will have some sort of organisation. Okay, uh, I'm going to start routering along this edge. As you can see here, there's a dodgy bit, so I'm going to have to do a repair on that. It is at the back on the inside, but I will do it because I don't like things like that too much. Um, I know it's rustic, but I'd rather try to cover it up. This one should come out with a radius, so here we go. See if we can get a bit of routing done. Oh, all got on there is that car radius car you can see it yeah so here we go let's have a look let's see if we can uh, get this done <laughs> that is done just give it a nice rub with a sandpaper and it should come out lovely for the back of a unit you're never gonna see actually you might see this corner 
Give it a quick go. And I'll show you when I do this repair, okay? But apart from that, this side's as much done as possible until uh, I put the backboards in and the cupboard on the top. So we'll be on that soon, so that's good. Just want to get this bit done a bit. Sort of get this semi finished. Might even give it a coat of varnish. Uh, there you go. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Here's the offending in bit. It's on the inside back corner. But I'd like to get rid of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way along here, cut this bit, all this bit out. Go down there, around, and back along and out. So we've cut out a piece and then we can glue a piece in there and trim it all off. And that should get rid of that dodgy bit. That little bit there will come out of a radius. So that's what we'll do. I've done a repair on this one, it's all taped up. Only a little tiny piece though, about that big. Uh, it's on the back anyway, it's only where the wood was a bit near a length when I cut it and I couldn't really do a lot to hide it, so good enough for what I want. Kids are going to bash it to pieces anyway. Okay, hiya. Um, I've just decided that it's going to be easier to bring the job in doors and varnish it because if I leave it in the workshop and I start machining anything, I'm going to get dust everywhere. So I've brought it indoors and I'm going to give it a one or two coats to toughen it up a bit at the bottom and then I can carry on machining up the workshop while it's drying. So I'll show you that. Here we go. That's what we've got so far. I'll do it all around the kids' toys. So it just about fits under the ceiling height. So I thought I'd get this bit done up to the, the uh, shoulder. And then around the back. There it is. So hopefully when it's varnished, the light wood will look okay. I haven't put a bottom in it yet. There we go. Oh, there's a coffee table that came out of the same wood. Okay, I'm not going to video myself varnishing the whole thing, but I thought I'd. Uh, Give a little quick preview to see what it comes out like. Let's have a look. Oh, that's looking a nice colour. Yeah, I like that. This is oil based Ron Seal exterior varnish because I figured if it's good enough outside it's good enough for all my kids and that's normally what I use on everything if I varnish it indoors external grade because as you know I've got 15 kids and they destroy everything so it's got to be industrial strength this is a satin finish so, oh. 
careful with it. Once I get this bit of varnishing done, I can get up the workshop. And we'll have a look. Right, that's that internal bit done. Right, give that a quick finish there. I love this varnish. The only thing is it takes so long to dry. Not in the sun, you don't. <laughs> Well, here it is after one coat of varnish all around the outside and the underneath. I've gone around the top rim, just give it a first coat. But uh, it's come out better than what I thought it was going to come out. Considering it was a load of old rafters, scrap, reclaimed wood, it's come out pretty good. For what I want it for. Have a look at this side. Pretty neat, isn't it? A load of old rubbish. There we go again. So I said one coat of Ron Seal. And I think it's come out quite nice. Let's see. Satin varnish. I made that as well from the same rafters. So, ain't doing bad for freebies. Out uh, of reclaimed wood. Uh, I quite like it actually. But, so I'll let that dry and give that another coat tonight. But in the meantime, I can get back down to the workshop after I've made the missus a cup of coffee. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Not bad for nothing.